fear not, for I am with you. Enough. Ako na nga itong laging nagpapasensya sa'yo eh. Let's talk about it next time. Love is patient, love is kind, anak. You are wonderfully made, anak. Opo tayo. Isang magandang magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At sa ngalan po ng mga pari, brothers, seminarista ng aming pong kongregasyon sa Pilipinas at sa Macau. At gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TV Maria, kayo po'y aming inaanyayahan na makiisa Makimisa ngayon po ang ikawalo, December 8, ang ikawalong araw ng Disyembre 2019, sa karaniwan po ito ay kapistahan ng Immaculada Concepcion, subalit sapagkat pumatak po ang December 8 ng linggo, napakahalaga po ang ikalawang linggo ng Adviento at dahil po dyan, ang kapistahan po ng Immaculada Concepcion ay gagawin po sa araw ng lunes, ikasyam ng Disyembre, December 9 instead of December 10. So, kumusta na po kayo mga kapatid sa ikalawang linggong ito ng Adviento? Sana po ay maayos kayo, no? Yung atin pong mga kasambuhay na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po yung mga cancer patients natin, yung mga elderly, yung inyo pong mga caregivers, no? At binabati rin po natin yung mga persons on duty, mga pulis, mga militar, mga doktor, no? Sa iba't ibang mga ER at syempre po, hindi mawawala ang atin pong libo-libo na overseas Filipino workers. We also would like to greet and pray for Brother Alex Pideris at ang kanyang mga kasamahan dyan po sa Canada, no? ang uh, pamilya Santos, pamilya Reyes, pamilya Guzman, no? Diyan po sa Canada, mga kaibigan at kamag-anakan po uh, ni Brother Alex Pideri, si Ani Adorna, no? Likewise, we would like also to pray para po sa ating mga matagal ng kasambuhay, ang Leslie family, uh, Leslie Masigan family, ang family po ni Tony at Lourdes Chowa, ni Ed at Norma Arrojado, ni George at Noemi Villarus, si Didith at Joey Jacob, ang kusina ni Kambal, 
ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan sa Discovery Bay, Hong Kong, si Alma Gonzales, Jona, Catherine Pablos, Romel Salvador, si Elma, uh, Emma Can Candela, May Asuncion Resyo, Rachel Esteban at Leilani Palladio Himotea. Blessings din po para po sa ating mga bagong mga kaibigan sa ating pong mga pilgrimages, yung pinakahuli, yung October-November ng 2019 with Journeys of Faith. Ito po yung grupo ni uh, Ati Gay, ni uh, Lady Bird at ni Ramon, no? si Maricel Salapantan, si uh, Noel at ang kanya pong may bahay na si Mercy kasama ang uh, nanay ni Mercy at si Trish. No? We'd like also to pray for the intentions of Father Divino Santos Rabang na nakasama po natin sa huling pilgrimage na yan. And likewise, greetings and prayers to Directo and Friends Pilgrimage Group ng 2019 with Tito Manny, Tita Lulu, the entire clan, at syempre mga kaibigan po natin sa Buklod, at si Pearl at Rafi Rodriguez. Likewise, we'd like to greet and pray for the Journeys of Faith Holy Land Group of October 2018. Sina Randy, Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joe Abs, na miss po natin si Father Charlie sa ating pong reunion. Ang uh, birthday celebrant po na si uh, Father Joy, na alam ko ay happy citizen na, happy senior citizen. <laughs> si Cora Cabral, uh, si Geraldine Lee, si Grace Lara, si Marie Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, Attorney Jane San Benaventura, Nino Molino, kasama, Molina, kasama na po ang kanyang uh, uh, mother na si Marites, palagi sila nagsisimba dyan sa South Mall. Si Willie at Arlina Onglao, Si uh, Anton Santos at Juliet O'Reilly, Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok, si Chrissy Highland, Rosely, Rosebell, William. Yan, masayang barkada po yan. Ano? Magkakaibigan, magkakapamilya. Ang mag na naman, si Dana, Kathleen at Tal Tantwiko. Yan. Si uh, uh, Silvet, uh, si Iris at uh, Iris Val Rivero. At uh, si Juliet Estolas At gayon din po si Attorney Grace Pulido Tan At siyempre po ang kanya pong partner si Nonoy Tan And greetings din po sa spell group ng San uh, La Consolacion Caloocan Kasama naman po natin sila bilang Orange Group ng Journeys of Faith Noong March 2019 Nais nice din po nating uh, bigyan ng uh, puang ito pong mga intentions na natanggap natin sa atin pong mga account. Si Patty Mendoza ng Baliwag Bulacan, Kanya Eternal Repost para kay Father Lutgardo Evangelista, Special Intentions ng Bilyanka Family, si Patrick Ralph Mendoza, at lahat po ng personnel ng Eight Waves Resort. Ba? Ang daming waves na ito. Maalon, no? Sa Eight Waves Resort. Healing po ni Mary Elsa Semenyuk at Francisca Silvestre. Eternal repose naman din po ni Nick Semenyuk at Encarnacion Evangelista. A successful medical procedure para kay Ma'am Estelita. At healing din naman para po kay R.B. Kiambao ng GMA Cavite para po kay Ma'am Joyce ng Palawan si Ma'am Dang ng Pampanga si Nanay Mila sa Val Valenzuela City and uh, si Izom Sun and Jed Special intentions din po for Carlo Jasper and the eternal repose of Benedicta Luis Rufina Rosario Ernesto Milagro Cesar mula po kay Nena Peralta ng Las Piñas. Special intentions, likewise for Marine, Marvin, and Stephen Manuel, for the health of Gina Manuel, and for the healing of Carissa Bihag. 
and for the eternal repose of the parents of Filipina Topacio ng Imos Cavite. Good health para po kay Evangeline Magnaye, Lorraine Pietra, Frederick Pietra, Lawrence Villaflor at Roberto Villaflor and healing for Fe Smith and Julian Santiago. Greetings din po sa ating mga kaibigan dyan sa Gerochi Dental and Implant Center, Monte Bar Building, Jupiter Street, Makati, sina Atty. Uh, Atty. Dr. Rico Martin, uh, Dr. Axel, Axel Gerochi, si Dr. Azel Jade Tan. No? Magagaling po mga dentist yan no? sa Gerochi Dental and Implant Center. Ngayon, paghandaan po natin na mapagbasang ating maririnig sa ikalawang linggong ito ng Adviento. For me, the word is reconciliation. Pagtawag sa pakikipag-isa. Pagtawag sa pagbabalik-loob. Ang una pong pagbasa natin mula kay Isaiah chapter 11, 1 to 10, ibinabalita sa atin na ang pagdating ng Mesiyas is a call to renewal of spirit, renewal of spirit, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, at kung meron ka neto, of course, that will help us to understand, to be at peace with everybody, and therefore, kani Isaiah, the coming of the Messiah that we prepare and celebrate for will be such that, kanya, the wolf will be the guest of the lamb, The leopard will lie down with the kid, the calf with the young lion, the baby will play with the cobra. So it's the story of Eden, paradise recovered. Yan, kaya reconciliation. No? So, uh, sa second reading naman, Romans 15, 4 9, sabi doon, ang Diyos nagbibigay ng tatlong bagay. Instruction, endurance, encouragement. Instruction, endurance, encouragement. At ang mga bagay na ito, they lead us to harmony with one another. Siyempre po, ang highlight ng atin pong lesson ay gospel. Gospel po ni Matthew chapter 3, 1 to 12. And we are now introduced to the advent picture of John the Baptist. Preaching repentance. At si John the Baptist preached repentance in the spirit of Elijah. He dressed like Elijah. Camel's hair, leather belt, food, wild honey, and locust. No? And he also baptized the baptism of repentance. Alam niyo po, si uh, Elijah is known to be a very powerful voice in the desert. No? Kaya nga, Uh, akala nila ito si John the Baptist is uh, Elijah coming back to life. No? But what is important, pinapakita po ni John the Baptist, reconciliation is not a cheap grace. Yung mga parisis, dapat may gagawin din sila. Huh? Yung mga scribes, hindi sapat na sabihin nila, we are children of Abraham, therefore we are reconciled. Hindi po. They have to be able to do something with their lives. At siguro, yan pong iiwang ko bago tayo magmisa. Ikaw, kaibigan, kung nais mong malasap ang pakikipag-isa, reconciliation with God, reconciliation with others, ano ang practical na dapat mong gawin in this season of Advent? Narito na po ang ating banal na misa. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory. and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, 
I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. Father, as we journey this Advent road, we relight the candle of hope and light the second candle of Advent that symbolizes peace. Grant us your peace, peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, and peace in our communities. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. The second Sunday of Advent introduces us to the figure of John the Baptist, the forerunner of the Lord. The word of the Lord summons John from the desert, and the prophet begins his ministry of preparing the people for the Messiah, who, though yet to be revealed, is already in their midst. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking Hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the rootless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with a kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. 
The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den. And the child lay his hand on the other's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all of holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another, in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord, you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then, as Christ welcomed you, for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for His mercy. As it is written, Therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist appeared preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized 
by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the coming wrath, produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pinabati po natin ng isang all-encompassing greeting ang lahat ng mga OFWs sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Pero in a very special way, naalala po natin ang mga kababayan natin sa Holy Land, sa Israel. At uh, kasama po nila ang lahat ng iba pa mga OFWs na pauwi ngayong Disyembre. Para sa kanila mga mahal sa buhay, para magbakasyon. Mapalad po kayo sapagkat nakakapagbakasyon. Kasi meron din tayong mga OFWs na sa Wimpalad hindi makakapagbakasyon ngayong December. Pero better luck next year. No? Uh, sabi nga ay weather-weather lang yan. No? Ang panahon nila ngayon, baka naman next year, uh, kayo naman. Basta you are, all of you are in our prayers. No? At dito po sa ating Sambuhay TV Mass, palagi namin kayong kasama, pinapanalangin. At nasa puso at isipan namin kayo. Ngayon po ay nasa ikalawang linggo na tayo ng panahon ng Adviento, paghihintay para sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon, ng ating Mesiyas. At ang lumilitaw pong uh, image dito ngayon sa ating Ebanghelyo, bago ang Mesaya ay yung forerunner, yun hong tagapagpakilala sa darating na Mesaya. Walang iba kung hindi si Juan Bautista. Si John the Baptist na ang sabi po dito sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayon ay pinagkakalumpunan ng maraming tao mula sa iba't ibang dako. Kumbaga po sa uh, internet siya ay trending. No? Super trending ho siya kasi hindi lamang mga karaniwang taong mga hudyo kundi pati yung mga religious leaders no? ay nakipila na rin. Itong mga scribes and Pharisees no? na alam naman natin sa scriptures, minamanman na nila si Jesus. Binabantayan ang bawat kilos at galaw. Hinahanapan ng mali sa kanyang sasabihin para siya iskoran. No? Pero ngayon, kahiyaan na siguro kasi nakita nila nitong mga scribes and Pharisees, halos lahat ng tao, bumupunta kay John the Baptist, sabi nila, kami din makikipila. No? Kasi ito yung uso. No? Kaya, kaiingat po tayo kasi itong panahon ng Adviento, maaring maging isang paraan din natin para makiuso lamang. No? Dahil ito yung season, sunod-sunod lang tayo, pero pagkatapos ng season na ito, Advent at Christmas, wala na naman. Hindi na naman makikita sa simbahan. No? makakalimutan na naman manalangin. Ito po ang paniyaya sa atin. Sana ay ilagay sa kalooban yung ating ginagawa. Nakita ninyo, ito si John the Baptist, siya ho ay banayad, magsalita, mahinahon sa mga makasalanan. Tinatanggap niya isa-isa yung nagpapabinyag. Binibinyagan niya ng tubig. Minamahal niya Wini welcome pero meron din ho siyang malalakas na salita masasakit na salita sa mga taong ayaw magsisi ng kasalanan 
Tinawag ho niya itong mga grupo ng Pharisees and scribes, brood of vipers, lahi ng mga ulupong. Sino nagsabi sa inyo na uh, kayo ay sino ang nagbigay sa inyo ng warning para sa darating na pagngangalit ng Diyos? Who warned you against the coming wrath? Ganyan ho si John the Baptist. Kapag kinakailangang aluin, kagaya ng mga makasalanan, para siyang isang magulang. Very tender, pero pag kinakailangan naman paluin, pinapalo niya. Yan si John the Baptist. Kasi nung panahon na yon, tatandaan ninyo, meron silang hari na very selfish and corrupt. Meron silang mga religious leader na ang iniisip lamang ay mga sarili at very hypocritical. Pero ang maganda ho dito sa kabila ng katotohanan na yung hari, yung kaharian ni David, yung Israel ay naputol na isa siyang puno na naputol kasi nga na na talo na yung kanilang kaharian pero merong naiwan naman na tinatawag na remnant people mga tao na nagsisikap talagang sumunod sa Panginoon at ito yung nakita ni John the Baptist kabilang doon sa mga pumipila at nagpapabinyag mga tao na nagsasabing kahit kami narito sa kadiliman alam namin kailangan namin lumabas patungo sa liwanag. At ito po mga taong ito, kahit na gumagawa ng kasamaan, mga kasalanan, katulad din natin, kapag nakakakita sila ng isang alagad ng Panginoon na talagang tapat sa kanyang salita, gusto nilang lumapit doon sa alagad na yon. At gusto nilang marinig ang sasabihin ng Diyos. Ito po yung nangyari sa mga tao at kay Juan Bautista. Ang sabi nila, ito ay tunay na alagad ng Diyos. Siya ay sa Panginoon. Kaya kahit na alam nilang sila ay makasalanan, mahihina, at maraming pagkukulang sa buhay, sila naman ay napuno ng pag-asa. Ito po yung isang napakagandang mensahe ng panahon ng Adviento. Binibigyan tayo ng pag-asa na sa kabila ng ating mga pagkukulang at mga kasalanan, mga kahinaan bilang tao, may dumarating na instrumento ang Panginoon. At kung tayo magpapasyang lumapit sa Kanya at makinig sa salita ng Diyos at sikaping isa buhay, ang salita ng Diyos maibibigay sa atin ang bagong pagkakataon, ang bagong simula. Ito ang hingi natin sa panahon ng Adviento. Nawa, Panginoon, kami ay turuan mo ng magbagong buhay. Alam namin kami ay mahihina, makasalanan, ngunit kami punong-puno pa rin ng pag-asa. At kami Nakikinig sa sinasabi ni Juan Bautista sa Ebanghelyo na kinakailangang magsisi sa, pagka, sa mga kasalanan, talikdan ang kasalanan at sumunod sa Panginoon para mabigyan ng panibagong buhay. Ang sinabi po ni Propeta Isaya sa ating unang pagbasa, napakagandang propesya, darating ang pagkakataon na yung punong naputol ay mayroong bagong usbong na sisibol. At mula doon sa, sa uusbong na yon ay mag, mangyayari ang bagong paghahari ng Panginoon. Ito po yung napakagandang larawan ng bagong buhay na inaalok sa atin. At sinabi pa niya, kapag dumating ang Panginoon, ang tagapagligtas, yung dating mga magkakaaway, ang mga hayop na mababangis at ang mga hayop na mga maaamo 
magtatabi sila at hindi sila magsasakmala. Hindi na mapipinsala ang mga mahihina kung hindi aalagaan na siya ng mga malalakas. Hingin po natin ito na sana sa ating uh, buhay makita natin patuloy na ang mga mahihina sa ating piling ay inaalagaan ng mga malalakas sa lipunan. Tumayo po tayo para sa atin pong pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us hearken to John the Baptist's cry to prepare the way of the Lord in expectant longing and joy for the Master's coming. We pray to our loving Father. For every petition we shall pray, Father, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, consecrated men and women, and lay leaders serve as faithful heralds of God's designs, even in cases when they become lonely voices in the desert, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. May we allow neither the sins and scandals in our family life and in the church, nor the corruption in our society, to, be, to overcome the goodness and goodwill in our hearts, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. May Filipino Catholic families cherish the faith they possess and share it to others in word and deed, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. May the Lord give comfort to the dying and welcome the souls of the faithful departed to the joy of paradise, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. Father, give us the will and courage to remove the obstacles that hinder our encounter with you and with one another. May we prepare for your Son's coming with joy and anticipation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Dios makapangyarihan. Puspos na malati ang langit at lupa. O sana, o sana, sa kalitaasan. Pinagpala na rito sa ganan ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and with Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace to all of you. Jesus, who is our peace, 
He takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. cannot receive communion. Join us pray a spiritual communion. Jesus Master, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will not die. The baptism and the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated this love to us. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I'm about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, May Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessings. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you, the blessings of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of life, be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God.
dadako ho tayo ngayon sa atin pong uh, pabaong katikismo mula po sa Laudato Si ni Pope Francis on the care of the common home. Paano natin dapat alagaan ang ating mundo, ang ating kalikasan? Sa chapter 3, sabi ko nga sa inyo, dito inuugat ni Pope Francis, ano ba yung human roots ng ecological crisis? Nauna nakita na natin, ang isa sa mga human root ng ecological crisis ay technology equals power. Yan. Ang problema, we use the power of technology without responsibility, without conscience. Kaya po, imbis na gumanda, tumataas ang pollution, lahat na po pollute, no? Nagkakaroon po ng pagkasira ang ating bahay, ang mundo. Pero pangalawa, in paragraph 106 onwards, sabi po ni Pope Francis, another reason for the crisis of ecology is technocratic paradigm. Yan. Anong ibig sabihin na itong technocratic paradigm? Para bang sabi niya, masyado na daw tayong, uh, alam nyo, na kondisyon ng technology. At ang problema po nito, sabi niya, sa paggamit natin ng kalikasan para i-harness ang power ng kalikasan and make it technology for us, ang problema, sabi ni Pope Francis, kung minsan, yung kalikasan, hindi natin nire-respeto kung ano talaga, para saan ito. Yan, para saan yan. We engage in experimental forms, experimental methods. We try to master nature. Master and transform nature. Pero ang problema, we do it in such a way na we do not respect, sabi po ni Pope Francis, we do not respect the possibilities of the thing. Hindi na natin iginagalang para saan ba yan? No? Para saan? Basta tingin na lang natin, technocratic, proseso lahat yan. Hindi po eh, no? Meron pong mga limits, meron pong mga napakahalaga na mga dapat isaalang-alang when it comes to nature, no? Sapagkat hindi po neutral ang nature. Ginawa ng Diyos ang bawat isa dyan para sa natatanging mga bagay-bagay. And that is something we have to know how to respect. No? Hindi lang yung we keep experimenting for profit, for well-being of other people, for especially the well-being of the pockets. Eh, di ba? Oh. So, uh, yung kagubatan, yan, naubos na. Ang tubig, oh, pinag-aawayan na. No? Yung iba't ibang mga sangkap at mineral na mundo, no? ginagamit sa kung saan saan. Ang tawag po ni Pope Francis dito ay super development. Super development na wala na po sa linya ng kalikasan. Super development. We supersede nature. And make nature perform beyond how it was made by God. At itong ganda po ng point ni Pope Francis, pwede ba kaya kanya na sa ating mga buhay ay sikapin nating mabuhay din na hindi puro technology? Ang point niya, kanya, we do not go back to the Stone Age, but siguro kanya, we can slow down. Pwede siguro nating medyo uh, wag masyadong bilisan ang development kung hindi uh, kanya develop in such a way that you respect the the limit of nature. Ayun, no? So babalikan po natin itong mga napagandang mga arguments nito ni Pope Francis about the care of the earth, no? In the meantime, we invite everyone to be a Sambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Unang-una, you can be a Kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by your 
contributions, love offerings para pa sa ganun, tuloy-tuloy yung ating updating ng ating software, hardware para po sa mas magandang broadcast po natin lalo-lalo na po yung iniisip po natin na maglalagay tayo ng robotics para po sa misa sa Our Lady of Sorrows. No? So, we ask for your support sa bagay pong yan. No? Nasa screen po natin ang iba't ibang mga bank accounts na pwede po niyong gawin, gamitin. No? Pangalawa, you can be a kasambuhay polling cooperator by spreading the news, letting some buhay be known. At nasa screen po natin ang ating mga cable networks, ang ating mga internet, Facebook connections na dapat po ipakilala natin sa mga kaibigan po natin. And of course, you can be a kasambuhay Pauline cooperator by also uh, texting us your short messages at your mass intentions. Nasa screen po natin ang atin pong dedicated cellular number for that. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña, uh, ni Cleric Edward Dantes, ni Kiv de Matatak, doing all for the gospel, ng St. Paul Audiovisuals, iniiwan po namin ang panalangin ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin, bless my thoughts, affections, words and actions, that I may always please you, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. 